You know how almost everyone uses Chrome these days? It's fast, it's reliable, and it just works. But behind all that convenience, Chrome is tightly tied to Google's ecosystem. That means there's a lot of data flowing back and forth to Google servers. Things like your browsing habits, crash reports, even search suggestions are often sent to Google without you really noticing. Now, if you want a Chromium-based browser, one that looks and feels like Chrome, but without all the Google services lurking in the background, that's exactly where Ungoogled Chromium comes in. So Ungoogled Chromium is basically Chromium, you know, the open source project that Chrome is built on, but without all the Google integrations. That means no Google account sign-ins, no syncing your bookmarks or passwords with Google servers, no automatic crash or usage reporting sent back to Google, and no built-in Google web services like Translator or Safe Browsing. Even features like automatic URL corrections or suggestions that normally ping Google servers in the background are disabled. So in short, and Google Chromium cuts out all those hidden Google hooks that are constantly reaching out while you browse. But why does that matter? Well, if you care about privacy, this is huge. Because Chrome is sending tons of data back to Google all the time, sometimes data you didn't even realize was being collected. And what and Google Chromium helps to do is block all that at the source. It also disables automatic updates that connect to Google servers and removes Google's default web services that can fingerprint you or track your activity online. So you basically get a browser that still works just like Chrome but with way less Google spying on you. Now, technically speaking, here's what and Google Chromium strips out. It removes Google Sync so there's no syncing your bookmarks, passwords or tabs across devices. The Google Safe Browsing feature, you know, that one that warns you about malicious websites is disabled because in case you went away, it relies on Google servers. Crash and usage reporting to Google is also removed. The API keys that Google uses for services like translate and spell checking are also gone. So those features don't work unless you add alternatives. It also disables background services like automatic URL corrections and prediction services that would normally send your data back to Google. Proprietary Google binaries like uh, WindVine which is used for DRM protected videos on Netflix and similar sites, are stripped out. So you won't get DRM content playback unless you manually add it back. Even Google's hard-coded URLs for error pages or default search engines pointing to Google are either replaced or removed. One other thing, and Google Chromium doesn't auto-update because that process usually contacts Google update servers, so you need to update manually. Even though on Google Chromium strips out so much, you can add back useful features and improve your privacy by installing some solid extensions. For example, uBlock Origin is a must-have. It's a powerful and lightweight blocker that stops ads and trackers in their tracks. HTTPS Everywhere is also great for forcing encrypted connections to keep your browsing secure. And Privacy Badger or Decentralize can block trackers and reduce fingerprinting, which can be a big deal for keeping your activity private. Since there's no Google password syncing, Using a dedicated password manager like Bitwarden keeps your password safe across devices. And if you're a bit more advanced, you might want to use NoScript or ScriptSafe to control which scripts run on the sites you visit. Now, another thing to note is that and Google Chromium removes all the built-in Google Web Store functionality. So by default, you can't just click Add to Chrome like you would on a regular browser, but thanks to a user called NeverDecaf on GitHub, there's a workaround. So to enable extension installs from Chrome Web Store, start by going to this link and set extension my request handling to always prompt for install. Then proceed to relaunch the browser. After that, head over to the GitHub release page for Never Decaf's Chromium Web Store extension. You'll find a .crx file there. So just download the latest version of that file and once prompted, install it. And that's basically it. With that extension installed, you can now visit the Chrome Web Store like usual and install extensions directly. If the Add to Chrome button doesn't appear on the store page, don't worry. Just right click anywhere on the page and choose Add to Chromium from the context menu. So this makes it much easier to grab tools like uBlock Origin, Bitwarden and the rest of the privacy toolkit without fiddling with developer mode or dragging files around. If you want to watch DRM protected content like Netflix, you have to manually install WinVine CDN. It's not built into and Google Chromium by default, but there are plenty of guys out there to help you get it set up. So if you want to install and Google Chromium on Windows, it's pretty straightforward. Simply head over to the and Google Chromium releases page on GitHub. I'll drop the link in the description. And once you're there, look for the latest Windows installer. It's usually the something like and Google Chromium followed by the version number 
and system architecture. So just download that .exe file and run it. It works like any other installer. It will install in the background and uh, automatically create a shortcut on your desktop or start menu so that you can easily launch the browser. Now, one thing to note is that these installers are built and submitted by community volunteers. They are not signed by the official organization. And since the builds aren't reproducible by design, there's a small but real chance that they could be tampered with. This doesn't mean you should panic, but it means you should download from trusted links and well-known contributors. If you're feeling extra cautious, the safest route is to build it yourself from the source code. So once it's installed and Google Chromium is ready to go, just open it from the shortcut and start browsing. Keep in mind though, there's no auto update. You have to manually check the GitHub page and download the new versions when they come out. So to wrap things up, and Google Chromium is perfect if you want Chrome speed and compatibility, but without the Google tracking and background noise. Sure, you lose some conveniences like syncing and auto updates, but you gain control over your data and privacy. And with the right extensions, it's easy to make your browsing experience both secure and user-friendly. If you want me to do a follow-up on how to set up Windvine for Netflix and other advanced tweaks, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.